everybody, this is B3Net Games, and this is my tutorial on how to make a more realistic day-night cycle. So, after we get first-person template opened up, first thing we're going to want to do is go to the top and click on Blueprints. Now in the middle, you'll see Open Level Blueprint. Check that. Now, right-click, and we're going to search for Timeline. you see Add Timeline at the bottom. You can name this anything you want. I'm just going to name mine Timeline. Okay. Now, double click on Timeline. And we're going to have the length be 192. Check Autoplay, check Loop. And we're also going to add a float track. Now, we're, I'm going to name this float track Butts. Uh, you can name it anything you want. Uh, now shift click twice. This is going to be the start of the loop and it's going to start at zero and the value is going to be negative 270. Okay. And don't click out of it. You got to push enter or else it doesn't save. Okay. Now for the second one, the time is going to be 192. And don't worry about the extra numbers at the end. The value is going to be 90. Push enter. Now let's scroll out. And it should look like this. Okay, so now we can compile it and go back to Event Graph. Let's take the button node. And let's search for Make Rot. Gosh dang it. Okay. Now make rot stands for make rotation. Now we're going to put this into a separate window and we're going to look for directional light stationary. We need to drag that into the level blueprint. Now we can maximize this again. And we can. Then search for set actor rotation, and there it is. And we'll take this return value and plug it into the new rotation node. Okay. Now the second object we need to drag into this, after we set this back to windowed, is going to be the sky sphere blueprint. So we drag that in. And then we can search for update sun direction. And there we have it. And then for the final thing we gotta do with this, we gotta drag at the update node and connect it to the other update nodes. Okay. And that's what your final product should look like. And we can compile and exit. Now, if you remember, it says directional light stationary. You gotta make sure that it's movable. And after that, we should be good. And we can delete these walls just to see just to see the um, day night cycle better. Now push play. And as you can see, it starts at night. And now gradually. Start getting brighter. Isn't it pretty? Now it's not too slow, but it's not too fast. At least I think it's a happy medium. Da -da 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 just waiting for it. Yeah, we should rise over here. And you'll be able to see the shadows can be cast as it rises too. Pretty cool. Yep, so that's the speed that it rises and it'll go all the way around and back to nighttime. And that's it for this tutorial. Um if you have any questions feel free to comment. Have a good day everybody.